No, this is Chisos Rosewood, Vaquilinia augustifolia. It's in the Rosaceae family, so it is alternate with serrations. Like I said, if you come and touch the serration, they're very sharp. It is highly serrated, and if you feel it, it, it like almost kind of hurts to touch it. What is this like? It's really sharp. Oh, wow. They're, they're pretty does stiff. It, does it really hurt? Not really. I mean, it doesn't hurt. You can feel it. But yeah, like, oh it kind of feels Jesus. like a butter knife or something. Also, the leaves fold <laughs> upwards, so it kind of looks like a little canoe. See that? Canoe. Yeah. Ride along. They're going to be glossy green. They're going to have showy flowers in the spring. Very susceptible to fire blight. Linear leaf. Folds upward like a canoe. Sharp serrations. Alternate. There's lenticels along the stem. Southern wax myrtle. In the Myrithaceae family. So if you take a leaf and crush it, Oops. it's highly strong smell. Smells kind of like Christmas. If you look at the stem, there's green berries all along the stem that are really waxy. And they're used in candle making. It has this alternate leaf arrangement that spirals along the stem. The leaves are dark green. And it's going to have serrations. Very few number of serrations on the tip. More so than it is um, all along the leaf. Um, it's going to have kind of yellow stems towards the new growth. There's also little bugs all over it. There's, these are true bugs. It's dioecious, so this is a female. Can be medium, large shrub to a small tree, as you can see here in the tree form. It's got really nice mottled color to the gray mottled texture. Um, they're also kind of a, a greenish blue color to the leaf. Um, they have, this is your classic world arrangement. Um, so not many, um, it's also, you can see up there, it's going to have kind of woody capsules, similar to Fabaceae family, but it's not in the Fabaceae family. It's highly poisonous. Okay. Don't eat it. Also, the flowers are very showy. They can have white to pink flowers that are five petals, which are fused, and they can have anywhere from very fragrant to no fragrance at all. It Good. smells like watermelons. Smells like you can to like we've seen in Texas persimmon and, and somewhat in live oak. Um, also, the foliage is clustered and tufted at the tips, so you can kind of see it makes little clusters all along the shrub. Can be a large shrub, as you can see here. There's also many variegated forms of this, and they're all over the garden too. So you might see a variegated version, and you should be fair game. I'll show y'all one. It's fair game. It's kind of got an open center. The leaves clustered around it. Round mounding form. Gamma dioecious. See how the foliage goes kind of vertically? It's got vertical planes where the juniper kind of hung over, kind of gotten flattened vertical growth. It's going to be scale like foliage. Also, like you can kind of see it on this, but if like you pull it back, especially in its, if it's in a shrub, it'll be green all along the outside and then you'll pull it back and you'll see all the dead underside in it. And that's really typical of dent shrub arborvitaes. But you can see up here the female cones that are still on it. It's kind of a woody capsule cone. This is kind of what it looks like when it's younger. It's bluish color in the spring. See it? Oh. <laughs> kind of a blue color. This is ornamental, ornamental arb no, yeah, oriental arborvitae. Platycatus orientalis. Well it's it's dwarf. Yeah, it'll be kind of a mounded, yeah. larger shrub. It can get up to a large shrub. I don't know if this one will. Did it